That's wrong. No! What's cooking, sapiens? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Arham and I'm a fourth year, or I'm a soon to be fifth year medical student at the University of Oslo here in Norway. So today's video is gonna be pretty freaking interesting because I haven't done anything like this before. So essentially, the idea is that I'm gonna be attempting some nursing school exam questions here in Norway, like from, the, from nursing school here in Oslo. Um, I haven't really looked at, looked at these questions pre previously and these were randomly picked um, by a nurse or by a good friend of mine, Aisha, who is also an incredible nurse. So thank you Aisha for helping me out over here and picking these questions for me. So this is gonna be so freaking interesting because I don't want to embarrass myself. Alright, so I think I'm a bit nervous right now but let's just calm things down and let's dive straight into the video. Alright, so I have all the questions over here on my iPad and these questions are basically in Norwegian. So I have two things to do. Firstly, you know, when I'm reading these questions, I also have to, um, you know, uh, translate these questions into English and secondly, I also have to think about the answer. So this is gonna be interesting, you know, two in one situation. All right, nevertheless. All right, first question, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay, which statement is correct? All right, I think this is a pretty decent one. Uh, I know A is wrong because red blood cells do not have the ability to, you know, um, eat other cells or, you know, other dead material or bacteria and stuff like that. Uh, which is basically phagocytosis, right? Because phago means to eat. C, endocytosis is or is, is means that you know substances are transported from the extracellular fluid and inside and into the cell. That's pretty much correct. So C is correct because endo means to take in, right? So C is correct. Uh, so I, I'll go with C. So let's check it. Correct answer C. Boom. That's the first one. <laughs> Question number two. So which statement is correct? The meniscus or the meniscus um, is located between the femur and the tibia. Okay. Uh, B. The knee joint is the joint between humerus and ulna. Well, okay, that does not really sound uh, correct. C. Is that the cruciate ligaments is the exact same as the medial and the lateral side ligaments? And the last one is patella is located at uh, like posterior to the uh, at the back side of the of the knee joint. Oh, okay. Well. This is pretty, this is actually a straightforward question because the correct answer has to be A. The meniscus, uh, or the, you have these meniscus, right, in your knee joint, which are located between the femur and the tibia. That has to be correct. B is absolutely wrong because humerus is like your upper arm bone and the ulna is your like bone in your underarm, this one right here. Uh, and you don't have the knee joint over here, right? This is like the arm joint. <laughs> um, anyway, so the the C alternative, alternative C is also wrong because it says that the uh, cruciate ligaments is the same as the medial and the lateral side ligaments. That's absolutely false because the cruciate ligaments, you have two of those, like, you know, anterior and posterior cruciate ligament, and these are located inside your knee joint. So you can't really see them or touch them. Um, and these are the ones which, you know, get injured quite easily when you're playing your handball, you know, football injuries, uh, soccer injuries. Um, and then you also have these exterior ligaments which can actually be palpated which are the medial and the side and the, and the lateral side ligaments in your knee joint. Uh, the last alternative is also false because patella is obviously located at the front of your knee joint. So the correct answer has to be A. I'm pretty confident. Let's check the answer. Question number two, correct answer is A. Ooh. All right, so next question. Place these anatomical structures in the correct order from the nose and downwards towards the body. Um, okay, so we have uh, bronchi, trachea, bronchioles, main bronchus, alveoli, and the nostrils. Okay, so the correct order would be obviously you have the nostrils first, nostrils, and then secondly you have the trachea, thirdly you have the um, main bronchus, and then you have the bronchi, and then you have uh, bronchioles, and then you have, lastly you have the alveoli. I'm pretty confident about this one, let's check the answer. Answer says, all right, here is the correct um, order so you have the nostrils, trachea, main bronchus, bronchi, bronchioles, and lastly you have the alveoli. All right, keep, let's keep going. Four out of four right now. I actually, mean three out of three. So question number four now. Here it comes. Which alternative is the correct example of a lipoprotein? Albumin, B plasminogen, C fibrinogen, and D chylomicrons. Okay. This is also pretty straightforward. The last one is chylomicron, which is obviously a lipoprotein because this is where, you know, this is how fat is transported from our diet or from the from your you know intestines intestines to the liver. Uh, so chylomicron is an example of a lipoprotein. Pretty confident. Let's lock the answer and check the 
uh, answer list and the answer is absolutely correct it's kind of my cross. four out of four now so with every new question i'm feeling more and more confident because this is going much much better than i actually thought or imagined all right sapiens question number six which alternative presents the correct order of hemostasis which is the stopping of a bleeding okay so i know that whenever bleeding happens the first thing that has to happen is vasoconstriction which means that your blood vessels contract and that is actually to minimize blood flow to that bleeding or injured area. So that has to be the first, you know, first step in every hemostasis um, pathway. Um, so yeah, the, the only option over here which states that is actually option B, which says that vasoconstriction is the first thing that happens. So that makes sense. And then, you know, by now, you know, just by looking at this, I can automatically, you know, um, discard all the other alternatives. alternatives alternatives so yeah i think option b is pretty much correct and i'm pretty confident about this as well let's have a look at the answer list and the answer for question number five is b <sighs> all right let's keep going fam so question number six in which part of the cell are proteins produced a ribosomes now okay so biochemistry was not really my, my my strongest point uh let's see if i can remember this so a ribosomes that's where proteins are made let's check the answer correct answer is a ribosomes this is going much better than I thought. I'm pretty, I'm feeling like, you know, on the top of the moon right now, if that's, if that's like a, you know, a saying or a phrase. What happens when insulin gets secreted? So option A, okay, so actually, I could actually answer this question without even looking at the alternatives. You know, insulin, you know, reduces your blood sugar levels. So the answer has to be, you know, reducing or the reduction in your blood glucose or blood sugar levels. Patients have a high blood sugar level and then you give these patients insulin to reduce that blood sugar or to decrease their blood sugar levels. Let's have a look at the correct answer and the answer is A, correct answer. Oh, I'm on a roll, man. I'm on the roll. All right, so question number eight and whoa, this is actually anatomy and anatomy used to be one of my favorite subjects in medical school. So this is gonna be good. What is the correct function of the papillary muscles which are associated with the atrioventricular valves in the heart? Uh, option B states that the, they hold the clefts, or oh, the val valves, cloughed. That's the Norwegian word for word for valves, basically. So it's not really easy to, easy to you know think about the answer and also translate at the same time, guys. This is actually pretty hard. Ah, uh, anyway, so they hold valves um, closed when ventricles are contracting. Oh, so during systole and that makes a lot of sense because when you when your ventricles are contracting you don't want to have any blood flow back into the atria uh, and then that's when you want to have your atrioventricular valves closed so b, b makes very very good sense i think the correct answer has to be b that's the only one that makes sense let's have a look at the answer list and answer for question number seven is b Ah, all right, let's keep going, man. I'm so freaking confident. I mean, I haven't really been this confident ever before in my life or any exam because I know I'm probably gonna get 10 out of 10 in this one. Let's keep going and smash a full 100% on this short exam. So what actually happened right now is that the battery on my camera died and I had to, you know, wait for like 25 minutes to get the battery recharged and now I'm gonna continue filming. So the momentum that I was actually in is now broken, but I still have two questions left. Let's see if I can get a full 10 out of 10. So question number nine, what is the definition of cardiac output? A, the volume of blood which is pumped out of each ventricle in the span of one minute. Uh, okay, now I'm confused between A and C. So it has to be either A or C. Um, now, I'm, uh, it's, it can't be, it can't be A because the volume of blood which is pumped out of each ventricle per minute. Now that can't be correct because, you know, when we're talking about the heart, I think I'm gonna go for C. Let's check out the answer for question number nine. And the answer is A. Oh, that's wrong. No, I lost my streak. Oh man, I'm so sorry because my streak is not broken. I was supposed to get 10 out of 10. Anyway, let's go to the last question, which is, what is the correct straight statement about the hormone angio or angiotensin 2? So it has to be either A and B because I know that angiotensin 2 actually does promote the secretion of aldosterone from your adrenal, adrenal gland. Uh, but I think the trick here is that the question says from the adrenal gland medulla. I think that's wrong because aldosterone is uh, actually produced in the cortex of your adrenal gland. So that's why A is wrong and I would definitely go with B because angiotensin 2 does actually, you know, stimulate contraction of arterioles in most organs. So I'll lock the answer B, final answer, let's check it out. And that's correct. All right. 
9 out of 10, not too bad. I mean, I would have been much, much happier with a 10 out of 10, but yeah, anyway, I think 9 out of 10, that's not, that's not bad, it's a good job. I mean, I would make a really good nurse if I was to take a nurse, nursing exam, um, but I'm still happy with the performance overall. 9 out of 10, I mean, I could, I could be proud of that, you know, 90%. That's good. And that's the wrap for today, Sapiens, and I hope you found the video fun. And if you want me to do more of these, you know, videos, then just comment down below with any video ideas where you want to, you know, where you want me to, you know, answer certain, certain questions or take certain quizzes. I mean, who knows, maybe this could be, you know, an entire series where, you know, do the same kind of stuff for like other papers or other exams um you never know so yeah just comment down below and if you haven't subscribed already please smash that subscribe button before you leave you might want to check out this video which will surely add some value to your lives or you know at least provide you with some entertainment anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the other side take care peace